After all that's happened, Pyra's not even sure what's going on anymore. Actually, I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuang Hill in the first place. Now, for some reason, he Where's can't go back. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever question my professional oh, instincts. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. A few days ago, some people came to Wuwang Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they'd come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. Ah, oh, it must have been poor Lord Chung that he followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. I was discovered? Well, I assume so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Yeah, Hu Tao and Meng were searching for you all over the place. Oh, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. So, all of this was just because you got lost? Why didn't you just fly? Like any other gooster spirit! Don't you think it's much easier to find your way from up above? I... can't. It's too high for me. I get scared. That's right, yes. He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living, and with so many people walking around Leo Harbor, my only choice was to hide. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Monolith's call. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> now, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuang Hill, and we should be done and dusted. dusted. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also little Wu, Mu Mu, and Songzi. Well, if that's the case, we can't let him down. We'll ask them all to help us prepare a farewell ceremony for Big G. Mung and I will escort Big G back to Wuang Hill. You meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual, then come and find us. They're all friends. Can't we just go there all together? Or maybe we can take Big G to them. Um, that's not a good idea. I don't want to scare them. Hmm, I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. So be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Are we really going with Hu Tao's plan? At least by keeping things low-key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. Uh, hi! <laughs> Do you remember us? Oh, <sighs> you... Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor's services anytime soon. <sighs> yes, we grew up together. We still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar. But he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he tell you about it? Yeah, he did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically speaking. 
we're just being hypothetical here. <laughs> Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or anything. <laughs> I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jue Yun chili chicken. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jue Yun chilies. I'm sure he'd appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. Deal! Just give us a minute. Great. This should be enough. I'll get started on the Julia and Chili Chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down? When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. Great! See you later! Uh, how did he know about the others? Uh, not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Mun told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. I come to think of it, I remember he did join Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor recently. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. <sighs> the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? How did you know? We didn't even say anything! <laughs> I'm a businessman. I've got a sixth sense for this kind of thing. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. <laughs> I never heard the end of it when I set up shop. But I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. Wow, you must be, like, super rich. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for Little Wu and Songza next. Mm-hmm. We already saw Little Wu. Now we gotta find Songza. I see. If it's Songza you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase leading down to the dock. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. Huh? You're all here. Reminiscing about old times, thinking back to past events. We've been at it for years. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster, so we've got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes? I make artisan sail lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. Hi, we're here to pick up the plostrite shards for Sansa. I think she mentioned it. Yes, here you are in the register. No problem. The plostrite shards are over in that crate there. Please, help yourselves. These look like what Sungzu was talking about. Let's head back. My thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay, there we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take, while this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well. 
and that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. Thank you. We'll pass it on. Big T is lucky to have friends like you. We got everything we need. Let's go to Wulong Hill and find Hu Tao and the others. Oh, you're back already? Sooner than I expected. You didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? Does Paimon look that unreliable to you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes, so I guess they knew the deal. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, the one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. <sighs> Which is just as well, because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility, and I'm stricter than most. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? Of course not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Meng. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. And where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. <laughs> so listen to everything I say. Let's go. I'm scared. But like Huta says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. Wow, what is this place? Somewhere close to death, but not like the Heller Underworld from the Tales of Old. This is just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. So keep your cool. Follow me. The farewell ceremony site is just up ahead. Finally! Haima thought we were going to be trapped in that weird place forever. That's exactly the point. Trespassers end up running scared. So that's the weird stuff out of the way, right? Yep. <laughs> Just dive off the edge here. What? It's the lantern right again. Wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the lanterns ourselves one day? You can make a wish without a lantern, you know. My mom told me. As long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. Yell it? Isn't that kinda embarrassing? As soon as the first person yells, then everyone else just joins in, and nobody feels embarrassed anymore. That's right. Little Wu, you start. All right. I... I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks, so I could enjoy you and chili chicken every day! <laughs> That's your wish? If that's so funny, what's your wish? To get rich, of course. Do big business and make a load of Mora. With Mora, you can do whatever you want and be happy. Yeah, if you get rich, you could buy that super expensive toy box. Not just one, one for everyone. No, loads for everyone. Well, if Momo's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns. The big kind! And Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Yeah! That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao Lanterns. Uh, anyway, those are our wishes. 
Mon, Big G, what about you? Me? Huh? They all disappeared. Right when he was about to make his wish. It brings back so many memories. That was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together. It's been so long. Everyone's all grown up. Have all those wishes really come true? We asked each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef. Mumu's a successful businessman. And Tsongzu makes great shallow lanterns. Really? Wow. We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Anyway, time to release this lantern. Hey, take a hint. Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. Take the hint? Really? Of all of us, you're the one who needs to learn how to read the room! Monk's already crossed the border. That's the only way to send Big G off. As I explained, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was, once upon a time, more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor. During the Archon War, piles of corpses covered the wilderness. People were plunged into misery and suffering. Disease was spreading all over the land. Death devastated the world of the living. Such were the times when the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first established. As humans, its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter. But slowly, they managed to drive away death. They must have paid a huge price for that. After generations, Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. But in the end, some lunatics stirred up the legacy of the dead. By that I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics of that situation, but suffice to say that at its peak, life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction, while death was coming back with a vengeance. It took a long, long time, longer than you'd think to restore balance and reinstate the border. Without it, Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today, neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, you or me. <laughs> the previous directors all love to tell this one, too. Although, if you ask me, I think I tell it best. What you make of my words is up to you. I do hope that most of it flew over your heads, though. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is just that. A funeral parlor. Nothing more to it. We live in peaceful times, but this harmonious coexistence between life and death should never be taken for granted. Huh? It's about time. Let's go. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. What kind of place is that? I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come up with fun names for things sometimes, okay? No need to hound me with questions about every little thing I say. I think we did everything we could to make you happy, Big G, wouldn't you say? But, if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. I won't, I promise. <sighs> I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true, too. So you should also mind my warning, Mung. If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? <laughs> well then, last but not least, let's say our goodbyes to Big G. See you later, Big G. Not like that. You won't be seeing him later. Let's stick to goodbye and such. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes we yelled that day, 
Only ours hasn't come true. Nah, don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. All right, I'll remember you all. Uh, goodbye. He's gone then. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but all I can feel now is emptiness. So, what was the wish you two made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Well, after each of us has started a family and built a career, we want both our families to spend the lantern right together. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest, they all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. That's right. Also, think about this. Everyone gets burned to ash one day. So enjoy your life while you can, and when your duty to the living is over, you can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? Uh... Thank you? Either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wuwang Hill. I have a lot of feelings to process. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. Uh, aren't you forgetting about something? I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking for. It is a pity indeed. <sighs> the biggest pity of all is your lack of help! <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. You don't sound like you mean it. <laughs> I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border... Oh, stop saying creepy stuff! <laughs> Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Ugh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. <laughs> I have my reasons. Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. But I've never seen any of the previous directors there, not even once. This means that becoming the director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was the right decision for them, and left them with no regrets. <laughs> 